Now here's our reporter, Laura Windsor, who has this segment on hernias in children. With a hernia, you will notice a bulge under your child's skin. Sometimes the bulge is noticeable when a child is crying or coughing, and in some children, it is always present. We went to Children's Hospital of Orange County and spoke to Dr. Troy Reyna and asked him to explain what a hernia is. A so hernia is an abnormal opening through any kind of aperture. If you have a muscle wall, it's an opening that allows organs from the chest or the abdomen, most commonly the abdomen, to protrude through that opening. And then on the other side, which is usually the side under the skin, you see a bulge. The most common are either in the navel, the belly button, or down in the groin. Well, a child's hernia is very different from an adult hernia because an adult hernia is acquired. Usually you tear muscle and the muscle weakens and the bulge protrudes through. Children hernias form because of a non-closure of a normal opening. This is a normal opening that allows a boy's testicles to come from the abdomen where they form, to come outside the abdomen and descend down into the scrotum. Now, boys and girls can both have hernias. It's a little more common in boys because the testicle actually traverses through the abdominal wall in the third trimester. Girls have the same opening. Nothing protrudes through that opening. The ovaries stay inside, but the openings nonetheless can have a certain failure rate with respect to closure, much less than boys. You can have small hernias, medium hernias, and large hernias. In boys, for instance, you can have a small bulge that comes and goes. You can have a bulge that's a little larger that allows the intestine to come all the way down through the bulge into the scrotum, what we call inguinoscrotal hernia. We actually have a disproportionate size a discrepancy of one hemiscrotum versus the other. And there's several loops of intestine down in that sac that you can only reduce when the child is recumbent and laying down and you can put it back in. The majority of hernias will occur and be noticeable within the first 10 years of life. There is some hereditary or familial issues. We'll, we'll see families from time to time. The dad will say, I had a hernia fixed when I was two and they're a little baby boy comes in or baby girl comes in with a hernia. Same thing with mothers. And there is there is some lineage issues with respect to familial inheritance. Dr. Reyna discusses how a hernia is treated. We recommend to the parents, especially for inguinal hernias, that they should be repaired. Inguinal hernias have a certain risk of incarceration. That's where the intestine will go through the bulge and can be trapped, which can cause a bowel obstruction or danger to the bowel. In girls, it can be the ovary that pops through that ring, which causes a danger to the ovary and the tube and risks the loss of an ovary. The treatment involves surgery, which incorporates general anesthesia. It's usually a short operation, half an hour to 40 minutes, which involves uh, affecting a repair of the hernia that presents, and then oftentimes laparoscopy to evaluate the other side to make sure there's not an occult hernia on the opposite side. This procedure is, in children is a lot more successful in adults because there's no muscle weakness. The failure rate, recurrence rate of a childhood hernia repair is probably less than one in a hundred. So it's pretty good. A lot of parents are under the uh, mistaken concept from a pediatrician that the hernia will go away. That if you don't jump up and down, if you don't play actively, you don't exercise or any activity that forces the bulge to protrude, that eventually the body will heal. With a congenital hernia like we see in children, it will not happen. Even if the hernia is absent for a period of time, it's still there. If you feel your child might have a hernia, have them see their pediatrician right away for a medical evaluation for the proper diagnosis and treatment. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor.